The definition of friend. One attached to another by affection or esteem. She is my best friend. A favored companion. If you ask me, those terms are loose as to what a friend truly is. It takes the word so lightly when it's not a word to be taken lightly. If they aren't your true friend, you have the word acquaintance to describe that. But whatever, I don't write dictionaries. Continuing with the story, it started with people from my elementary school. There was a small group of them and a few additional people. From there, I would group hop, talk to everybody in my grade, and that was it. Seventh grade came, and my world flipped upside down. I lost my best friend, but I made new friends. Eighth grade came, and I met Camilla in math. We became close. The year progressed, and I became part of her group of friends. Autumn, AJ, Camilla, and Araceli, I became the fifth member of that group. We were our clique. We spent lunch, Memorial Day weekend, Halloween, birthdays, and every holiday you could think of at school together. It felt like a family. Slowly, people started to leave. Three transferred, and it left AJ and I alone out of the five. We grew close. Over the summer one year, I had a falling out with the others. Haven't spoken to them since. Araceli is still cool. Now, it's different. There's Victoria, Moffy, Cameron, Olivia, and Leslie, which even extends out to Michaela and Sarah, Paula, and Lillian. My new family, my support group, my tribe or cult. It could probably go either way, to be honest. With everything that happened, I changed as a person. It made me who I am today. Had the falling out not happened, I wouldn't be as close to everybody else. I wouldn't be as happy. I'd always be worrying about what I did wrong, if anything. I want to thank you. Even those that aren't in my group, you all made me who I am today. Thank you.